Friday Eve. It's Thursday. <laughs> so, do I look a mess? Because it's been a day. First, I subbed today. So, I got to do something fun. And I got to teach math to fifth graders all day long. Um, that was awesome. Then, I had to take Emma to a doctor's appointment. Then, I had to go pick up Ryan from wrestling. And then come home. And um, <laughs> we had some re relaunch, like some restocks today. So a bunch of things went into um, onto the website today. A bunch of chalk paste colors were restocked. A bunch of transfers were restocked, um, which is awesome. The coveted wings transfer, which is... Um, it restocked a little bit today. So if you're one of the lucky few who got that, um, that's great, but have no fear because so many more wings transfers are coming in just a few days. So next week we'll have a new, um, a new restock of the wings. That is that C size transfer that everybody wants with the beautiful wings, the large wings. So that was my day. Um, and my boys went to lacrosse practice and I had just a couple hours by myself for the little quiet and um, I literally did nothing. I mean, I did do stuff, but I sat down and worked from my phone instead of like anything else. Hi, Anita and Shelly and Pamela and Anne-Marie. Hello, hello, Connie and Marcia and from Porch Crafting and Roxanne. Today, I'm actually going to introduce a little bundle um, because um, in order for me to do this right, we need to ship this out ASAP. So um, we do have a box tonight. It is special box. Um, probably will be available today and tomorrow before it sells out. But let me show you. We're going to do the He is Risen. Okay. So... I ran out of time to properly create the bundle promotion um, image. So I just gave you the image of the box frame and the transfer. You'll see what it looks like when you watch my video tonight. Ah, uh, look how cute my bunnies are back there. I think they're so cute. So um, we have the He Has Risen floral transfer. Okay, and then we have our double-sided box frame. So when you create this um, bundle, you will be able to create something else on the back so that you have that awesome double-sided Easter spring, right? It even could be summer, but we got our Easter back there. So this, I mean, and also he has risen. It does not have to be Easter, but it's very Easter with the lilies and everything. Okay. So what we're going to do is... <laughs> we are going to take this up. If I don't forget. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Colleen. Hi. Do you have some wine? I have some water. We could ask God to turn it to wine. It's still water. Hi, Gail. Hi, Janet. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Wanda. Hey, Barbie. How's it going? So, um, this is a pretty simple project, but we're going to do the watercolor technique. I have not done that in a really long time. So, for any of you newbies who have not seen... The watercolor technique you're in for a treat and um, this is an a size so that means it's a five by seven and it's really easy to use our box frames are awesome um, double-sided I am gonna fuzz this if you don't happen to have a fuzzing cloth you can use your shirt or your pants or a dish cloth that's clean you just want a little bit of lint on there. Okay. I really 
wanted to use bark on here, but I do not have bark singles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick this on without waxing, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I am going to do a watercolor technique down here, and we don't want any wax on that when we do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Storm, okay? So I'm going to go into our Creamy Dreamy Storm with my mini squeegee, and I am just going to cover the entire thing in Storm. It's going to be beautiful. Have no fear. If you're brand new, checking us out for the first time, I would love it if you would join my free crafting group. All you have to do is type add me into the comments. And when you do, you will um, be able to get an invite in your messenger from me, inviting you to my Chalk Nation VIP group. Okay, so this project is a bundle that is available tonight um, until I sell out. I realized that I bought this intending for it to be um, a bundle. However, because of Maui, it took up two of my Mondays. So I missed out on two bundles. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer it tonight until it is sold out. Now, this is all we're doing with the chalk. Um, the transfer, I mean. So you just have to do the image in like your one base color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash this. Put it in the water and get it all cleaned. Use my dry, or board, I always wanna say dry erase marker. My board eraser, not dry erase. Okay. Once that is all cleaned and all the lint is off of the back side, I'm gonna set it aside to dry, making sure that the sticky side is facing up because when the sticky side dries, it is all sticky. Hi, Joanne. No, you have, okay, so you have to click yes to take you to the box because remember I said that I didn't have enough time to create an actual image. Um, it'll take you to the box. I just can't say, <laughs> I just can't say the price out loud. You don't have to purchase it, but you do have to click yes to see the price. I apologize for that. That's not normally what I do. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry, but that's the only way I could get online on time is if I could get that done. Oh shoot, that is not what I wanted. I wanted one of my special ones. There we go. These are just super pokey. Okay. Now, there, perfect. I had a little tiny bubble and I fixed it. I am going to now dry it. We need to get it all dried. I know, I need a drink, Colleen. <laughs> I really do. Hi, Joanne. Hello from rainy Pennsylvania. It was rainy all day, but then it, and it, it didn't clear up, but it's not raining. Oh, good, Shelly. Hi, Mary. Hi, Barb Jones. Barb Jones fed me lunch today. I was so happy. I was not having the lunch I packed for myself. And she made me very yummy um, a sloppy joe. It was very good. And I do like sloppy joes, and it was a good one. Um... Hi, Amy. Hello again. And Marlene, hello. Alrighty. 
I think this is so the creamy dreamy does take a little longer to dry so just so you know before you um, think it's gonna dry lickety split it does dry take a little bit longer Oh, just right here, there's a tiny bit. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that water coloring technique. So I'm gonna set this over here and we're gonna use our um, color trays. Now you're gonna get a color tray in your kit and you're gonna get the, um, the packets of paste just like this. I wasn't sure if I had daffodil, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Some of these colors are not creamy dreamy. And so it'll work perfectly for what I'm doing though. Beautiful colors. This is sage, this is peach keen, and this is daffodil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little scoop out. And so this is what you'll do. Literally, when you get your packet, you're going to flip it upside down and put all of the chalk paste towards this color. You're gonna snip off the top, I mean the bottom, the white. Then you're gonna open it up, scoop a little bit out, put it into your tray, and then you're going to roll it up, tape it, or put a clip, like a paper clip on it, and save the rest, because you are not gonna need to use all of this. You're gonna get a lot of extra. Um, so like I said, you're just going to scoop out a little bit into your color tray. Now, I'm giving you one color tray, so you're gonna have to do one color at a time. But if you have other color trays at home, then you can use more, or even, even like a little plastic um, plate or a little tiny bowl or something would work. And I'm going to put a few sprays on each one because we're turning our chalk into watercolor. And so I'm just going to blend this with the water until it's pretty clear, like kind of like an opaque waterish, watery-ish thing. So this is not what you would ever do for chalking on a transfer, just FYI. You would only do this, we're going to use a paintbrush and you can honestly use any kind of little watercolor paintbrush, even like a child's watercolor kit paintbrush, it doesn't have to be fancy. I have a couple like medium grade um, paintbrushes, really not really not hard. Um, I just like to have a little bit of a fine tip with that paintbrush so I can get into little tiny crevices when I'm working. So I'll show you like what I'll use. Um, I'm gonna pull out a few. Um, and you can find these just at your local um, you know, craft store. So I have some different sizes here and I will use like this thicker one. I can hold it up. I'll use this thicker one um, for some of the bigger pieces and some of the real tiny things I'm gonna use like a little tiny one. So what I'm gonna do first, I think, is these really pretty lilies and I'm gonna make those yellow and then we have these buds um, that I want to make a different color I, I didn't want just two colors on here so I'm gonna do um, some yellow on these lilies now when you first start painting this yellow you probably aren't gonna see it very well. Um, I can zoom in a little just by moving my table up 
And actually, this might work there. So keep watching. I'm just um, trying. I am trying to stay in the lines. Now, if I don't stay in completely, it's not that big of a deal because it just looks handmade. And then I do have to do, you can kind of see some of the color coming out. This is where I say chalking makes me feel like a real live artist, even though I'm not, and it's totally like paint by numbers. But when you can create something and you spend just a little bit of time on it, it makes you feel good. Um, actually, it's good for your health. Any time you spend time on a project and you complete it, you have to complete it. When you complete it, it actually fills you with all the feel good hormones and enzymes in your body, all the dopamine and makes you feel really good. It can be completing a task like completing the laundry, right? But that's no fun. I mean, it's fun to have it done till next week, right? Or it could be any little DIY project. As long as you have, you know, even, even something like a crossword puzzle, when you complete it, it's satisfying. So every day, see, this is very selfish business because every day I create a project and I feel pretty good about it. And that makes me feel good. And um, it serves as like a little bit of self-satisfaction, right? Oh, yay, Marlene, that's awesome. You got a package. Hi, Angie. Okay, so we've got those done. Now this is, this is still wet um, and we can dry it, but because, and I'll hold it up. I don't wanna wiggle it too much. But because it's still wet and literally watery, I don't want to move it with air yet. I want it to kind of like dry off a little. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna rotate this down. I'm gonna start some of my green. So my little green leaves and we'll do now this is sage, so I'm going to do some sage leaves. And you can do any color for your background that you want, but I prefer to have like that, um, almost like the coloring book, right, with the black lines. I prefer to kind of have those lines there that give it more depth. Uh, Remember I used to have that one giant one back here that I did that was huge. It's kind of a wedding one. And um, I was, I spent so long on that. It was, it's one of my like labors of love. It says Mr. and Mrs. on it. I did it for an art contest and I won second place. I didn't win first, but I won second. Okay. So we're just gonna keep doing the little green ones. And so all of this stuff, except the paint brushes, will come right in your kit. So you don't have to, um, oh, and the water. You'll have to spray your own water or, or just put some drops of water in there. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be distilled. You can use any tap water and the packets of paste you're going to get are sage, peachy keen, daffodil, and of course the storm. Each one of those packets will have a lot left over for you to use in another, um, like another project. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so I can finish doing the green parts over here. And I know there's still some green parts over there, but I've got my eye on these. And tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll be live during the day, it'll be 2 p.m. And basically, we're gonna do another project or two, depending on time, with our March Club Couture. So if you would love to join our chalk club, um, by joining our Club Couture, I'm gonna put the word up right now. All you have to do uh, is type club in the comments and I'll send you the link to check it out. It is $19.99 a month and you get a project kit um, every single month delivered to your door for free. You don't have to pay shipping. And then um, because you're a club member, you get special treatment throughout the year. So for example, this month, all of our club members get a 25% discount on a three pack of our new Creamy Dreamy Chalk Paste. If you're a club member and you have not taken advantage of that sale, you can still do it till the end of March, but then that sale will be gone. You wanna make sure that you log into my website and then either click on the banner at the top that is kind of like the announcement for the sale or click on shop and find the Club Couture promos section. And then you can um, do that. All right, I think it's time to move to our Peachy Keen. All right, let me clean these out. Of course, these paint brushes just get cleaned out with water. So easy peasy. All right, so now it's time to do some Peachy Keen painting. Oh, I think these colors are gorgeous. I don't know, I can't remember what the colors were on the photo I shared, that's a corporate photo. But I didn't, I like it better when it has the like outlines in a different color. And of course that's just me. You could totally do your outlines in the same color that you're gonna paint in. But I kinda like the way this is gonna look when I'm done. So the first thing I did was the yellow and it's starting to dry, but it's still wet because of the water. You really just waiting for all this water to evaporate and I'm on wood. <laughs> so we're not doing this on paper where it soaks in, right? Or a canvas. This is wood. Okay. Completely finished. And so I'll dry, I'll clean those off and let's, let's look at what we did. See, look at, I barely use any of that chalk. You honestly will have so much left. Beth, I am still live. Can you see me? Can, if you're on Facebook, can you see me and hear me? If you're on YouTube, can you see me and hear me? Or did something happen? Please tell me that something didn't happen and that I'm still live. Oh my goodness, Bernadette, yay! We're gonna dry this as low as we can. I just don't want the air to move the water. 
Yes, yes, yeah. That's all Facebook. Is there anyone on YouTube who can see me? It's all good. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Um. Oh, good, good, good. For a second there, I was a little worried. Mary, it's so fun. It's so fun. Like, I feel so accomplished. Look at this. Look at what I made. And this is really cute. I can add, actually, I think, you know, I think I'm going to add a little tiny embellishment. You know me. So I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun. Um, so what that means is I will give you embellishments in your box. If you order tonight's box, you'll get everything that I'm doing. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit more on its own. And I'm going to grab... Um, oh goodness, do I have enough of this? I really like this one. Oh, I don't think I do. Let me grab a different one. I have, I have favorite, like, embellishments. I should have plenty of this. All right, so we'll do a little bit of, a little bit of that color, because that is our sage. We need a little bit of yellow. Let's see, I don't have a lot of yellow, but have a little bit and we don't need a lot and we need a little tiny bit of pink um a light oh perfect I do have enough of this <laughs> it's the same one I wanted in the sage but okay so we have those colors and then we're just going to have to do some burlap. Um, and I'm going to cut a little piece. Now watch what I do here because you're going to get a piece of burlap and these, the hem on the edge is still on and I'm going to cut it off because I want to distress this. So we're going to put the burlap at the bottom. Actually, I'm liking this yellow with the fringe. And this is wired ribbon. I'm going to, if I can, if I can remove the wire, I'm going to. If I can't, then I won't. If it's too hard, all right, it's not coming out. So I got it a little fringy, and I'm gonna trim off the extra. So that, and then I'm gonna lay that pink over the top, and I'm just gonna take a small piece. I wanted my skinnier, I wanted my skinnier um, stuff, but I can't. Oh, my sister left it over there. All right, I will use this, but I'm going to send you guys, I think, the skinnier because it looks a little better. So we're just going to do a simple tie on this. Oh, no, you're not watching the replay. Nope. I'm going to do a double knot. And when I do this double knot... I'm going to trim the edge on both sides and then I want you to check it out. I'm going to start pulling these out a little bit and then I'm going to take my little tool, my multi-tool that has the pokey tip 
If you have a pokey tip tool at home, you can use that. Um, and I'm going to separate those strands and just kind of like fan it out. And if I grab a little bit of that pink, that's okay. So once you get that all kind of fanned out, you've got this real rustic looking bow, okay? And just trying to get it a little more even on both sides. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That's pretty even. And if there's anything hanging off of it, you can trim that. You don't have to keep it um, how I love my messy. And you could stick it, you could put it on the inside or you could put it on the outside, um, however you want. I kind of like it up here. You could put it over there. But let me finish drying this before I do anything else. So when you're using your quick dry tool, note, you're supposed to hold it at a 45 degree angle. If you hold it directly at a 90 degree angle, it actually will um, shorten the lifespan of the machine, which I had no idea. Oh, hi, Amy, you didn't miss me, you found me. You found me. So we did a fun watercolor technique. And also, um, we do have this as a, a bundle tonight. And I still have like a few of the Egg Hunt This Way transfers in stock that I can get you right away. Um, it has the Happy Easter and the um, Easter eggs. All right, so most of this is dry except for this little flower here. Just trying to get all the angles to get it dry. It's not hot, this is not a hot tool. Um, it's kind of like a hair dryer on the low setting. So it doesn't feel cold, but it is not hot. This is not a heat tool, FYI. All right, I definitely don't wanna touch it in case anything is still wet. And I don't wanna lift it up. So I'm just trying to see the shiny parts. All right, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Oh, I gotta learn that. All right, so I have my glue gun and I'm gonna pull this towards me a little bit so I can see if I put that in there. Cause I kinda want it, I kinda want it inside there because remember this is double-sided and I did not plan ahead to make anything go around. So if I just kind of like hit that up at the angle and even the little pink, I can pull that out a little bit. That is gonna be really good. It's gonna stay. I think there's a little one that I wanna trim. Okay, so this is pretty cute with that little angle. And then, um, let's take a look at it. As I show you this, I'm just gonna let you know that if you are curious about becoming a designer, type team in the comments, and I'll send you a link to my opportunity group where you can watch a video and learn all about it. Um, oh, Pamela, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I do. I'm so glad that um, anyone can get any inspiration from me these days. So here is our finished project. Um, so you can kind of see, you can see up close the water coloring, pretty easy. And it looks really good with the storm. So you're gonna get all four colors. You're gonna get the embellishments. You're gonna get the box. You're gonna get the transfer. You're gonna get the color tray, as well as a mini squeegee and a stir stick. So everything you need to do this except for your water and your paintbrush. 
Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Joanne. It is. It's like a very delicate little cute thing. And then you can do something on the back that's like regular spring or maybe summer. You can keep this out during spring, flip it over. Like if this is a mantelpiece, flip it over and you'll have dual purpose. And so this one, one piece will last you for like double the seasons. Okay. All right. Well, that's all folks. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do have a bundle box. You can type box in the comments if you want to check it out for this particular transfer. I mean, this particular project. Tomorrow, remember, we're going to do, I'm going to break out the, um, the wooden truck cutouts and our awesome, uh, don't you, I'm so proud of my bunnies and our wild and free or you can't even see the green. You are wild and free transfers. We're going to do some fun, unique things um, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So have a great night and I will see you back here with wine or Malibu and pineapple juice. I can't decide what I want tomorrow at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, even though it will be morning on the West Coast. It's okay. So have a great night. Make sure you're following and subscribing to my channels and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.